കാൻഫഡ് കേരള അസോസിയേഷൻ ഫോർ നോൺ ഫോമൽ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് വാസ് ഫോംഡ് ഇൻ നൗ യു ഹാവ് ഗോ സം ഐഡിയ ഓൺ ദ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ ഇവൻസ് വിച്ച് ലെറ്റ് ടു ദ ഫോമേഷൻ ഓഫ് കാൻഫെറ്റ് പി എൻ പണിക്ക വാസ് മോട്ടിവേറ്റിംഗ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഫോർ റീഡിംഗ് ബുക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോയിങ് ദം സെൽസ് ബൈ യൂസിംഗ് ദ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഹി ഹാഡ് ഫൗണ്ടഡ് ചാവൻകൂർ ഗ്രന്ഥശാല സംഘം ലേറ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കെയിം കേരള ഗ്രന്ഥശാല സംഘം ആൻഡ് വെൻ ദേ മെയ്ഡ് എ സ്റ്റഡി ഓൺ ദ ലിറ്ററസി സ്റ്റാറ്റസ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ സിറ്റി ഓഫ് കേരള ദേ ഫൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സംതിങ് ട്രാജിക് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സംതിങ് പത്തറ്റിക് സോ ദേ ചേഞ്ച് ദേ സ്ലോഗൻ ഫ്രം റീഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോ ആൻഡ് ദേ accepted new slogan acquire literacy and strength uh, get strengthened something like that and in 1977 they formed canford kerala association for non formal education and development and see you have to note that even before the indian government the central government the then central government introduced national literacy mission program this volunteer organization had started adult education programs they voluntarily started giving literacy for illiterate people they got many awards they got awards from european countries they got financial aid from germany because they were working hard and in 1988 as an after effect of the new educational policy of 1986 national literacy mission was formed in 1986 the then rajiv gandhi government had declared a policy which is known as new educational policy or national policy on education of 1986 in that comprehensive policy the government declared that they would provide adult education for people between 18 and 35 as a part of this adult education in 1988 the national literacy mission was formed under the national literacy mission state literacy missions were formed in each state of india and under the state literacy mission state resource centers were formed in kerala the duties of state literacy mission were assigned to canford and some other organizations because canford had started literacy programs before the arrival of this latter na- national literacy mission and state literacy mission so they were given the duty of providing uh, materials and providing volunteer service for 
offering literacy to illiterate people. And they contributed much. Actually, Kerala became the first state to have complete literacy just because of the contributions of such people and such organizations. A Canford, with the help of some other people, personalities, such as VRV Aaron and Sukolachan, Father Sukol, provided a whole village of Aaron complete literacy. And they organized lots of campaigns, literacy campaigns, and they contributed much to the adult education programs of Kerala. Or if you look back, if you make a glance back, we'll <coughs> see that such alternative educational movements and literary movements contributed much for realizing, for realizing the concept of education for all. Though still we haven't reached the education and the concept of education for all, the present status, the present educational status is an after effect of the contributions of such people and organizations. So Canford worked much for the adult educational programs. And now state literacy mission is working still and state resource center is now under government. So if we look back we can see that Canford was the real motivator behind the complete literacy gained by the southern state of India called Kerala. Thank you. Thank you very much.